Welcome back to the 2022 Gold Coast Titans All Schools Touch Championship. We have a wonderful 15 boys game about to take place in front of us, and you know what I'm most excited about? We have coaches. So Jaden Bimbo and Ash Barnes over there, and then so both play, you know, elite level touch for CQ. Coach Kyle Hadwin down here in the near sub box plays for Sharks Men's Open and you know Gold Coast Touch, and Peter Norman's refereeing them. Like what's going on? Someone invite all the legends to the game of footy today. Here we go though, nice to see a mass college with the ball. A little bit of sweeper play, step back, eyes up and walks over the line. Wow, great touch footy. This mass college team, zero, Liam Spanner, one, Lathan McMeekin, three, Will McLaughlin, five, Samuel Burton, seven, Chase Bales, eight, Deacon Maguire, nine, Jai Hilcher, ten, Nash Pratt, 23, Riley Fag, 33, Alex Fuller, 86, Caleb Kier, 98, Taya Mai Torima, and 99, Jack O'Neill. As we see Pacific Pines with their tap off, Let's see what they can do. Love a good set play. Easily identifiable there. With the top knot is Jai Kormanet. You'll look to see him feature heavily for this team. Nice, happy to get to the line in two, too. Boom. See what they can pull off what their strike tap move is. Oh, look at that defensive. Wow, he's out of there. Watch the, watch the way this kid makes a touch and gets out of there at speed. Nice, they're in tight. Little bit quickie play. Has the short open but well rounded up. So that's a nice way to start the game there. Six touches down. Pacific Pines, number 10, Owen Whittle, nine, Cody Allen, five, Cooper Fitness, 14, Dante Driscoll, two, Devan Tiki, eight, Griffin Kipyat, four, Harlem Fagalilo, 12, Hayden Malloy, 13, Jai Kormanes, seven, Jai White, one, Marcus Kirkbride, three, Nathan McDonald, six, Tiariki Ford Larkins. As we see, Emmaus Rocky take off, great touch though. Awesome touch in the corner there. That's the stuff championships are made of. Who do we have? Hayden there making that touch. So what well on Coleman here, just starting the ball up again. Happy to pump it down the field. Oh, nice. Just dancing a little bit of footwork here close to the line by Dante. Pack Pines boys just coming down this near sideline. Going to get it back to the middle. Yep, ball gets tucked under the arm. Check, check. Oh, yeah, hard luck there. So Jaya White with the scoop, but they were well rounded up. So turnover there with the Mayus Rocky, middle of the field. Bembo's going to love that. Boys are going to easily get across the sub box. Look for Chase Bales to feature heavily. He would have been involved last week for the CQ Bulls as well up at the NYC. Definitely a player of the future. Nice, the ball just out here at the middle. Boys looking to settle it in. Griffin with the plant. Oh, nice and check, check. Referee has an offside penalty though. Nice, so... Nash Pratt is going to be there asking for the ball. Yeah, ball at the moment there with the tap off. Boom, he's just going to pull it back to the centre of the field. Probably looking to work with Deacon Maguire and dummy half. Pratt with the plant. Maguire gets the ball back. Offside, steps back. Oh, yeah. Nice, good work. And Devon's just having a look in front of him saying, come on, mate, let's do it. These guys would have seen each other last week at the NYC. Absolutely. Sweeper, going around the back. Has a look, extra pass though. Moves the ball early. Plant getting back there to that space. Oh, drops under, but the ball falls underneath them, unfortunately. So looking likely, and the boys are happy to dive at the line. We've got diving defenders, diving attackers. That's all we want from a game of touch footy is fit and enthusiasm. So a nice first plant there. Two pass around the back. Ball boys bringing it across to the sub box side. Devan happy to punch away. Three there, though. They're not at halfway yet. So need to find a little bit of field position. Flicked out. Nice, just taking the touch there. Oh, fakes him. Here's another go. Ball out the back. Can he find it to the corner without the eh, forward pass there? Yeah, nice. And Pete was right in line with it there. So he could absolutely call it. But a little bit of ball movement down the short side there. So unorthodox, it appears, will be the way for the Pack Pines guys. Um, as we know, Emmaus College will play beautiful touch football. So it's going to take a few unorthodox things, a little bit of footy, to probably get around them. A couple extra passes, trail balls dropping back in, and an X-Factor moment for Pack Pines. As we see Pratt down that far sideline, though, ball goes to ground, bit of a fumble in front of the Emmaus Rocky sub box. That won't bother them too much because they pride themselves in their line defense. So there'll be no stress when they make an error like that. They just go back to work, get about their business. So Pack Pines just happy to kill a few touches in the middle of the field while they try to find their field position. So Dante with the plant. 
Has a look at a half year, but unfortunately Dante didn't split, so he was in front of him. Cody Alley looked for the sideline, was unable to find an option. Nice, that's touch one. We and just got him ball down in the ruck. So let's see what they can do now. Giving them really good field position. So Dante's going to bring the ball across the sub box, get some fresh legs on. Malloy with the plant. And that'll see Jaya White with the ball at the moment. Just happy to settle it as his teammates come on. So White's planting the ball. Got Harlem. So White down for Harlem. Little pop pass. Has a little look. Boom. Kormini gets in there. Sneaks over the line. Oh, good touch. Hard luck. So Kormini back on it. Off to White. And a big ball over the top. So just a killer to the far sub box side. Boys have got to squeeze in now though and do the work. It was a nice set of attack. There's definitely some space around for them to score tries in. Yeah, he got him well done. Just a little sort of fake in the touch, flick the touch. Alex Fuller just got caught. You see Burden, happy to work there in the middle. So Bale was on the plant. Boys just caught around halfway. That's it. They only need one touch to refire their momentum up. Extra ball to ball. Got him. Release. And referee has. All right. He's going to give him another one. Check, check. Oh, and they released it. Well done. So Bale was looking for a switcher. And referee has a. Yep, ball down at the moment. That'll see Pack Pines bring the ball across the sideline. Cormanier with one. Oh. And two again there. White has the ball at the moment. He's going to have three on halfway, which is a really nice rucking set for them. Devan just getting caught there on four. They're not quite at halfway yet. He's going to be a check back and look for a scoop, I reckon. He's a lovely runner of the ball when he gets in space. Here you go. Check, check. Yeah, and just getting caught there on the turnover. Nice. We'll see Emmaus Rocky needing to go end to end on this set, but like I said, they're happy to do the work. Normo just has a hard touch during the ruck on the first. If there's ever a time to do it, that's when you do it while you're contesting the ruck and contesting the turnover. Oh, a little ball down. Nobody's got him again, so that's two penalties. You may have a chat to them about those penalties on the first or second touch. That is where I let my team sort of, you know, try to contest those moments. Just double checking, looks like there's a couple of commentators walking around, walking around the space, so they're looking for a bit of time. <laughs> nice, nice though. Emmaus Rocky with the ball, they're in great field position. Let's see what they're going to pull out here. Bang, dump goes down on the seven. Oh, he, as he came around the back, but just lost control underneath, unfortunately. So Pack Pines will now look to bring it across this near side sub box. Devan with a nice straightener. Two pass sweep goes around the back, releases to the link. You're going to see a lot of that from this Pack Pines team. That seems to be their rucking set. And Devan loves to bring the ball all the way to this near sideline. There we go, coming down, looking for a strike dump. Cormany with the ball at the moment, going to check it back. Yep. Off he goes, they've got an overlap. Let's see if they can, oh, boom, go wheels. He put the big mid out, and don't worry, that man from the CQ ain't going to be caught from there. We see Caleb just take off, put out the big mid. Said it earlier, when you've got those three on twos and those two on ones, what do you do? Do you play it safe and try to ensure your teammates can help you, or do you put the big mid out and run away, run away with it? And look at him, he looks comfortable running at top speed too. See, look at those calf muscles, boom, exploding. So you bet the boys talk about those at training. So there we go, scores currently two tries to nothing. Emmaus Rockhampton over Pacific Pine State High School in this 15 boys matchup. Still 16 minutes to go in the match though. Nice Kirk ride there in tight, looking to work around the middle. Kormenia comes across to this near side. McDonald gets into half to help him out. Kormenia's going to look for a scoop off the back here. Cody Alley with the plant, spits back, does have, oh, and chucks it intercept. That'll be zero on the turnover. And there we go, Rocky just gets straight into it. Look at that first touch. Oh, ball going to ground, hard luck Pratt. He just got excited, he saw what I saw, which was just a small opportunity to get Pack Pines on the back foot. Boys looking to get off the field and get some fresh legs on. So a nice call. We're going to see them coming around the back at the moment. Set up. Nice ball shifted across the middle for Dante. He's in control. White with the plant. Ball getting back to him. Having a look around the ruck. Just missing a link there to take real advantage of that opportunity. 
and caught without a dummy half, unfortunately. Harlem was. Nice, let's go. Broom, good plant. Picks him up. Looking to run from half. Should get into the end goal here. Finds the winger. Yeah, yeah. There we go. So like we said, it's going to take an unorthodox moment to break the floodgates open for Pack Pines. And it was a wee tip on by Mayas Rocky trying to get in the way with a wee catch by the winger. It's a way to stay sharp. Dummies the quick. Boom. Gets inside to the end goal. And he nearly batted it out. Went for the big get out of here. And just tipped it on for the winger. So a really good awareness by the winger to stay live in the play. Mayas Rocky just cruising back to the halfway line. Happy to take their time. Let's look for a play based around Bales there, wearing the big number seven. So push it across the far sideline to bring up a bit of momentum. Riley at the moment. Boom, Bales back with the ball. Okay, they're going to centre it up. Looks comfy. Swinging around the back. We've got a sweeper going. Hey, didn't have a splitter. And the winger on this side was pretty much man on too, so that option may not have been on. He would have had to look for footwork. ML, there's the big one. Oi. Just want that winger running a bit of a J-line, starting tight. I was happy with the pass. And I believe if he had J-lined from inside to outside, he actually would have caught that ball and scored in this near side corner. So this is the division in the 15 boys where we start to see all those things that we've practiced at a higher level come good. Some of these guys are playing men's open and, you know, Division 1 Metro Cup men's and some of us are still just playing school touch. So you see a few differences in the way that some of the lines they run, some of the energy that they play with, the intensity they use. Nice ball around the back. Oi, and a touch pass though, far side. He did sneak one through. Referee Peter Norman right on the mark though. We're going to see a touch pass penalty as Emmaus Rocky get the ball in really good field position. So that's going to be two on halfway. The referee calls him back, gets right into that seven metre line. Bales takes the touch for three. Checks it off nice around the back by Hilcher. Oh, sneaking through and underneath. Yep. Has an off the mark though. So referee Peter Norman, Johnny on the spot, doesn't miss much. And there we go. So Pack Pines go straight back down the middle for their first before they bring it to the sub box near side. Corman has done a mountain of work in this game here. When his team will take off down the field, he's always looking for that extra punch. Plays the safe rucking game. I really like the amount of work he's done down this near side sub box. Nice. White with the ball at the moment. Looking to combine again with Dante Driscoll. Dante picks and goes through. But Bales rounds him up really well in that. Just down there on the try line. Let's him sneak through. It's only seven metres. And then picks him up. Nice, so here we go. We're going to see Emmaus Rocky happy to go down that sideline. Boom, picks it up easy. And you see the boys just a nice little extra pass too. Get that, gets that latch off. Out the back. Pratt with the ball at the moment. Referee still only has four. Five's coming. Pratt's going to look to go out of half. Splits two. Picks up that space. Oh, and he's gone through the end goal. Pratt, little feed. Great ball down try. Awesome. <laughs> so they're happy just to cruise. They're about their process. Uh, about their process they are. Pratt just gets the ball on that short side and takes off. A really nice try. That's what you see him here. Just gets through and a little pass. Bang. Catch. Ball down. Nice. Really nice try there by Taiomai Taurima. Beautiful. Nice. So Mace Rocky currently scores out three tries to one. The 15 boys division. 12 minutes though. It's enough time to score one and stop one. And it's about the moment where you do see these games start to turn a little bit. 15 minutes in. It's normally the fatigue moment in a 20 minute half. So with five minutes to go, we can start really running those little winger trick plays. And, you know, the good players that have done the work and put the practice in start to shine. And this is where you can see a momentum change in these 25 minute straight games. Devan, though, with a nice controlled plant. He did look a bit wobbly. Finds the short side. Oh, a little bit of depth there. And he would have gone flying through the hole. Depth, you're going to hear me talking heaps about it over the next couple of days because we know in the kids' divisions, everyone stands in a line. You know, as the tournament starts to develop, the A-teams turn up, you're going to start seeing balls hit people on the side of the head um, because we don't have our chopping, depth and timing and alignment right. Nice though, Mayas Rocky out of the box. They got him behind with a nice little trail ball. If that was a plant, I reckon he would have been gone. Lathan would have been out of here. A little bit of footwork though, fines. Referee's got a ball down. Yep, there it is. Boom, nice. So Will currently looking to work with Laith. Laith gets it back off a quickie, dives at the short side. Try. What does referee Peter Norman have? 
Absolutely cleared it. Yep. Looked to me like the try was scored before the touch was made, unfortunately. Oh, sorry. Fortunately for Amaris Rocky, but for the defender that was caught there inside. So Vaughn gets him, but he tries to pump him with two hands. Hasn't made the line and then falls over. Yeah, unfortunately. So we know he's coming off the back of a massive National Youth Championships week as well. Um, but there are those little things. And I like to say for the players that play a lot of touch, that's a tune-up. So once in a tournament, you know, those things will happen to us. Good defenders, good attackers, and you go, that's right. When I make that touch, I really need to protect my short side, stay out, and have those other three people around me help me out a little bit. Nice though. Here goes the Emmaus Rocky. Machine starts to burn through the middle of the field. Bales gets out there with great energy. Spreads the ball. Nice runs about 30 metres to this near side and now he's going to probably sweep around the back. Fifth touch though, going to pick out a half. Bit of footwork coming back to the short side. Nice link pass. Oh, dummy, dummy. Golly. So Alex Fuller, ball in two hands. Gets it, runs a reverse steppy like the old Tommy Q. Comes back through, ball in two hands. Pump, pump and slides on through the line. Here it is, reverse, rip, winds it up. Reverse step. But that little reset there, coming around the back, ball in two hands, and White just goes for the intercept on the fifth touch. Killer. A couple of tune-ups in that little set there. White will think, oh, fifth touch, that's right. Coach Kyle said fifth touch. We always shut on that one and clean them up. Oh, nice, here we go. Call me now with the tap off. So touch two here. They're going to advance the ball down to the try line. Five tries to one at the moment, Emmaus Rocky over Pack Pines. The last few sets, they've just sort of taken off and broken the deadlock. Nice, here we go, Dante looking over the top. Oh, winger has it again. Boom, I'd love to see Dante. He looks long, he looks tall for his age. I want to see him attacking that line, ball in two hands and reaching. Putting the ref around to 50-50 pressure as we see a little break down the far side. Chase Bale was trying to run a sneaky with the player that was leaving the field of play. Unable to find it, they both leave now. Boom, so there we go. Six back on the field. Pratt, we know he loves to get out of dummy half. Boom, referee has five. The big mitt goes up. He's broken the line though. So Lathan out there looking for a runner and finds Pratt in that corner. Hey, <laughs> Neat. They're just so active, these guys. There's energy, the effort to get there. So they hit the line, breaks on through. Boom, one back to the ball. One offside, chasing, chasing, energy. Pratt sees a space, a little diver. And a beautiful b-ball pass through the centre, finds the corner. Love it. And that's why we're teaching those man-on situations. You don't want to have all your players running into the end goal. Best thing you can do is run, hit the try line there, jockey around the try line, leave all that space for your um, half, half runner that's got into the end goal to move around. Um, but you saw Pratt then was just Johnny on the spot, right moment, right time. So that takes the scores out to six tries to one. Emmaus Rocky over Pacific Pines State High. Seven minutes left in this 15 boys matchup. Pack Pines looking at the line though. White with the ball in two hands. Referee Norman has a big fiver up in the sky. Let's see what they can do on this last one. Wind it up. Gets him. Gets him. Short side shoulder. Gets him. Oh, release. Was looking at a switch. Pratt almost bit on the switch. And then referee gets him for throwing the ball away. 10 metre penalty gets advanced. Alrighty, so let's minimise the damage at the moment for Pack Pines. They can probably get together and work on this subset defence. So this has been where Emmaus Rocky have been able to just own them here. So you see they'll take this first one here, then they quite easily get the ball across to the middle. Boom, going to keep going. They'll find the sideline on three. And there's no real pressure here against Emmaus. You know, four down that far side, and they're just going to get all their players on so they can strike. Bales comes around the back, get down, looks to pick out a half. Referee's happy, dummy half was caught. Nice there, so Pack Pines. Put on the attack, there it is. Nice, white with the ball there. Oh, just needs to watch the sideline. He got close. Nice, so Cormany looking to work with you. Jai and Devan coming together. Boom, Cormany looks to pick out a half. Footwork. Oh, and I reckon that's the simple one for them. Once the corner goes away and he steps back, they've got a four on three. And if they're deep enough, they can just go draw pass, draw pass, draw pass, try. Instead of trying to switch back, trying to do anything, the defense will automatically run in an auto corner shut. So for this team here, just looking up at some of those options, those tries just 
sometimes we try to do switches and wraps and do things we don't need to when we've got a bit of short side, uh, sorry, open side space. So there we go though. Nice little latch play. Ball gets popped back to the middle for four. Five's coming. We're gonna pick and go off the back of it. Extra. Yeah. Six touches there. Van jumps straight on the ball. Oh, nice. There it goes. Gonna bring it down to this near side. Plant on the box side. Nice Jai taking that hit like we spoke about. Always controls that subset first before he leaves the field. Never leaves this team hanging. Kirkbride with the plant. Looking for Dante to take off out of half. Breep. A little bit half goosey. Hop, pop and stoy. Not well rounded up though. They're on the 7 meter line down the far end. And as we see, so Emmaus Rocky currently with the ball. They're going to have to push down that far side. Touch one, and this has just been nice and simple for them at the moment. Pack Pines are rolling off on defense, and there you go. You see the wheels start to turn. So touch three near halfway. A little wee latch touch on four. Looking for a strike down. Pratt's going to come out of half again. We've seen him do it a few times so far in this game. Bang, gets the extra. There it is. And they're going to draw past to this near side wing. Rip. And that's like we spoke about before with Pack Pine. All they got to do is get the corner running away, create a four on three, draw past, draw past, draw past to the wing. We see Emmaus Rocky roll back down the field and do exactly the same thing, coming the other way. That flick pass there was a lucky one though, not going to lie. He's going to put that on his TikTok account later on, I reckon. I know I would if I was his age anyway. So here we go, and a beautiful try on this near side by Caleb here. So a nice intercept earlier on by Caleb, and then he picks up the easy ones. Does take a bit of ball control and nice depth in time as well to run onto it. Cool, so Pack Pines at the moment taking the tap. Scores are 7 1 at the moment. Emmaus Rock Hamden over Pacific Pines in this 15 boys matchup. And Pack Pines just happy to chill with the ball, losing a few metres though as they back off the 7 metre line. They probably need to push into the line a little bit there. Harlem gets the crew moving. White gets them into the line and then they'll be able to take off. Griffin with the plant. Harlem with the pop off to White. White having a look. They've got a short side open though. And oh, great touch. Yeah, great touch. So the scores are relevant at the moment. They don't care. Riley diving through there to make that touch, even though his team's up by six tries. And Pratt, there you go. Never too far from the action. Let's touch two, and they're going to just work across to that far sideline. And Pack Pine's still happy to roll off. You can see the defenders just walking with their backs to the ball through the middle of the field. That's probably been half of their challenge moving into the next game. I'm sure Coach Kyle will watch this footage back, and, you know, footage doesn't lie, so it's a really good opportunity just to have a chat to his team about it. Not sure. Oh, looks like a, yep, turn over there. Just checking out the referee signals. So Pack Pines for one, heading straight. They're going to come to the sub box. So two and a half minutes left in this game. Pack Pines will probably get three more shots at attack to try and pull something out of the bag. As we see the ball go to ground on halfway, last thing you want to do is give Amas Rocky the ball more than they deserve it. So great field position. That's going to be one there with Bales. Nice, just moving into the green zone. About 15 metres out from the try line. And all the time in the world, these gentlemen are trying to set up a nice try. Bales goes round the back on a sweeper. Ball comes off, i.e. Play on. Try there. Yeah, so Normo must have called Jai off. Jai was right there, Johnny, on the spot. You saw him lift his hands at the last moment. So must be nice clear comms. Bales comes around the back. Jai gets him. Not on side yet. And you see him must have been called offside. Yeah, never got back to the line. Referee's calling play on and down. So nice try there for Bales. You can see a couple of different groups out there. You've got the Pratt group and then you've got the Bales group, it looks like it. Um, running in two different attacking pods together. It's going to be dangerous. You know, both of those pods are firing as well. Referee's not sure what to call there. He's going to do a pick up and play. <laughs> yeah, he is happy for them to pick up and play the ball there on the first. So 60 seconds. This is... Pack Pines, last shot at the line for the game. So let's see what Devan can pull out of the bag. Working with Jai. Boys are coming together. A little wee play. Oh, slings it back over this side. Oh, and misses. Oh, no. Made the touch. Well, he is a big man. Looks like he'd be close to six as he gets old. Oh, nice. Pratt puts the pressure on. Forces the ball to go to ground. In 46 seconds, Emmaus Rocky are absolutely going to storm down the field here. Let's see what their strike looks like. So, second touch pulling into the 10. This will be third touch in front of halfway. You're going to see Bales coming out of the sub box at the moment with his crew. Four, strike dump coming. 
And got a touch pass on the back. He just tripped out there. <laughs> Scooped the ball up from half and then thought he was going to dump it for Chasey. So got a bit caught out. But touch one there just before halfway. 20 seconds to go on the clock. Devan bringing the ball across to the side for two. And we see Jai taking that beautiful hit down the sideline as he does. He will not leave the field without doing the work. Less than 10 to go. White needs to go off this next one. Oh, there goes the hooter. And ba -dum -dum, dang, there goes the ball. Probably a good sign of the way the game went for Pack Pines. So in this 15 boys matchup, the score finishes. Eight tries, Amaius Rock 